Guys, it is a beautiful sunny day. We've had some pretty poor weather for the past couple days. Now the wind has laid down, uh, sun's coming out and we're fishing. I, I'm kind of, uh, I wanna take a little break from the bass fishing. I wanna eat some fish. And walleye season isn't open yet, but black crappies are open year round in Northwest Ontario. So we're gonna try to catch some black crappies. I'm doing a little exploring today in the back country and I may have stumbled upon a pot of crappies. We'll see if we can get back on top of them. I marked a nice school. We're gonna kind of just zigzag drive around here. I'm gonna have this the sonar screen uh, recorded so you can see what I'm looking at as well. And we're just gonna crisscross the deep basin. Uh, when the water hits 55, 60, that's like prime water temp for crappies being shallow for in the reeds. I think there's still gonna be deep based on what I saw. And there's actually some right under the board right now, guys. Look at this. That is a, a fish, a fish. We're gonna talk about what we're using, all that good stuff, but we need to catch a fish first. There we go, look at that, look at that. There's two fish, suspended. See if I can get back on them. See those two marks there? That's what I want. I, I mean, ideally it would be a bigger pod, okay, I'm on him. So I just kicked in reverse. And if I do this right, you'll actually see my jig go down. And hopefully the fish interact. So I kind of drifted off. But if these fish are hungry, they should be willing to swim a little bit. Crappies can be so tough because you're right on top of them and it's bang, 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 bang. And then you drift off 20 or 30 feet and all of a sudden it's like, what just happened? How did I completely miss that? So that's the thing. That's the same thing with ice fishing. That's why you got to drill so many holes and in open water. That's why you got to, you got to stay mobile. Okay. I'm going to keep cruising. I'm not, uh, I'm not content yet. I'm going to keep it in reverse and it's just easy for me to drop down. Turn the camera a little bit too for you. We're going down. I think I see a suspended mark there. I cannot mark my jig right now, but I'm kind of just, I'm kind of just guessing. Mark looks like it's a foot or two off bottom. And, and with crappies, less is more. You don't need to do any aggressive jigging, no sort of rip jigging, like just hold it there. Depending on the type of plastic you're using, often just, yeah, holding it right there can be all you need to do. Okay, this looks more promising, guys. Just saw my jig drop down. Yes, hammered, here we go. First, hopefully crappie. Ooh, yeah, baby. We're eating good tonight. Just, it's been a while since I've caught a crappie. Right there. Nice little slab that's perfect eating size. Probably, I don't know, 11, 11 incher. That one is going in the well. All right, so I'm actually using an, an ice fishing jig, an ice fishing setup basically. This is a frostbite tungsten jig. And people ask, what's, what's the difference with tungsten? Why is tungsten more expensive? Tungsten jigs are actually denser than lead. So for the same size jig, it's, it's just a nice small presentation, but it's still heavy enough that you can stay vertical. I can mark it on the screen and you don't have to worry about, you know, big wind. If I use the same size in lead, I'd have such a tough time feeling bottom if there's any sort of chop or any sort of wind in deeper water. And then as far as the plastic goes, I just took some random, I don't even know, I took the tail off of something. That was a good start. A lot of fish to the left on the side imaging. I'm gonna pause that just so I can use this camera. So guys, check this out. My graph is shooting to the left. That's where the boat is, that's to the right, that's the left. Can you see that right there? That's all the white spots are crappies. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six crappies. You can see the shadows behind them. So that's what you're looking for. And it's this soft bottom that makes it so much easier. If these crappies were in rocks, which isn't as common, you would have just a heck of a time picking them off. But crappies like the mud bottoms, for the winter time, for the fall time, and now for early spring, because that's where all the bugs and the invertebrates are. And they often, it's like the, the deepest part of the lake or the section of the lake they're in. There we go, I can see my jig. Look at that fish coming up to it. Oh! Come on. He's coming back. Crappies are one of those fish that you may as well not even start fishing until you mark them in 
95% of situations. There are, I've seen times before where you pull up to a lake and if you're out marking them in the winter time, you drop down to the bottom and they're there. But with how they school up, typically you will mark them before you catch them. So it's, it's worth the time to drive around a little bit longer. I knew that I might find some crappies in this part of the lake, but I didn't want to waste any time until I was marking them and I came over a pod and saw it on the down imaging. I'm like, yeah, I'm pretty sure those are crappies. I'm gonna do a little driving around, see if I can find a better pod. Still not, uh, still not crushing them yet. This is a tough time of year though. There we go, 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 there we go. Oh my goodness. You see all those fish? Look at all those fish. All right, guys. Instantly, he must have eaten it all the way down. This one feels big. Oh my goodness. That's a nice, nice crappie. I'm gonna net this, oh, I'm gonna sling him. Oh, baby. Guys, jig annihilated. We're on top of the fish right now. I'm gonna talk a little bit later, but right now we are just gonna keep catching. That fish just ate it as it was falling. And this is where you really just got it. Holy, guys, look at that. This is where you just gotta capitalize and catch them as quick as you can, because who knows how long this is gonna last. Coming up for me, coming up quick. Yes. Oh, that's the biggest one yet. That one, I'm gonna put back, because that is a big old slab. Guys, it pays to stare at your electronics all the time. I was here on a pike venture and stumbled upon some crappies. Let's talk gear for a little before we catch any, oh, we're right on top of them. This is, this is very difficult. We're gonna talk quick. Guys, this is a panfish, Shilum is panfish. IMX, this is a 6.6 light. You want a nice light rod, you could probably get away with your lightest walleye rod as well. I have five pound braid with, this is I think, I think this is seven pound fluoro. Do not, it doesn't need to be this heavy, you could get away with four. Seven works fine, but yeah, a nice light braid if you're fishing a little bit deeper and you can feel those bites. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I need to just back up a little bit. I, I can't even talk. I, this is, when they talk about a Christmas tree, I, I just gotta pause this. I gotta pause this. That is what you wanna see right there. Look at that, stacked. I was, I was catching a couple before and then now we just slid over a little bit and it got a little bit deeper and I guess they are still sitting right in the hole. And this is, this is thick with them. <laughs> We're gonna catch a couple more just for fun. So good. I've been hoping to eat some fish for a while. So guys, right now I'm just zigzagging around. I just marked a couple fish and I wanna see if I can get on a big pot of them. So I'm just gonna loop back and forth watching my side imaging, watching my down imaging. And, and side imaging is just incredible for, for crappies because you can scan such a big swath. I'm looking 65 feet to the left, 65 feet to the right and yeah, they kinda, it's a little tougher for the fish to hide. There we go. In this case, they're right under the boat, which is convenient. Let's see if we can stay on top of these. I think there might be a fish coming up for me. I can't tell. There's so much on the screen right now. I think we're on the fish. Yes. Love it. They're suspended. Those fish are about 10 feet off bottom. All right, guys, one more. I'm catching one more and then I got to pack it up. That's it. We're calling it. That was one hour, not even an hour. <laughs> 45 minutes of some good, good pan fishing. Love and life in the Alumacraft, guys. I hope you're doing well. Uh, just keep enough to eat. It's always nice to throw some back. And uh, we'll see you guys probably 
next video. Actually, I don't know what the next video is gonna be, but walleye opener in a couple days. By the time this video drops, walleye season's probably open in Northwest Ontario.